This post has been breaking the internet since yesterday and hundreds of you have tagged me in the comment section asking me to help you confirm the story. A lot of people even say they will only believe the story when I confirm it to be true and here I am today giving you my own assessment. But before we move further, what does the post say? This post was made by this guy, Chidi Augustine. It has a picture of a river and the title of the post is This is Oboroko River located in Akwaibom State. It is the only river in the world that flows uphill. He went on to say, the water from this river cannot stay inside a cup or a container. If you drink the water from this river, you will automatically vomit the water on the floor. And the water will flow back to the river no matter the distance. It is located in Ibaka, the side that leads to Cameroon. A lot of people in the comment section did not agree with this story. So many people decided to tag me and ask me to confirm if this story is true. And if it is true, they want me to visit the place and show them the river. When I saw the post, I was shocked as well. I wanted to see this river that does not stay in a container. And if you drink it, you automatically vomit. So I started doing some research. I wanted to find out where I can find this river so I can go there and see it for myself. But the little research I did, I came to find out that the story itself is not true. Or at least some part of the story is not true. So this is what I found out. The first thing I found out after doing a little research on this post is that the post itself has been recycled many times. But whenever they recycle the post, they just change the name of the stream and the location of the river. Just like this post said, this is Iwewe stream located in Ofukogi state. It is the only stream in the world that flows uphill. The water from this stream does not stay in a cup or a container. And if you drink the water from the stream, you will automatically vomit and the water will flow back to the river no matter the distance. So this is just people recycling the same story but just changing the name of the river and the location of the river. But they are not the only people that recycled the story. Some other people posted it and said it in Delta State. Some other people said it in Plateau State. Why others said it in Nasrawa State? So I decided to dive deeper. I wanted to find out if there is any particular river that have this particular story. But what I found out next would shock you. As I dive deeper into the research, I came to find out that the picture itself is fake. This picture was taken in a river called Omiyeri Ayonigba, located in Erijenye, Ekiti State, Nigeria, and I've been there to tell the story of that river. Yes, that river have an interesting story, but the story have nothing to do with what they are writing in this recycled post. When I matched the picture with the video I filmed in that river that day, it matched that is when I realized that the picture itself, just like the post, is fake as well. Now, let me tell you the real story of the river in this picture that they are recycling with a fake story. The river they are recycling in this fake post is called Umieni Ayonigba. It's located in a town called Enege in Ekiti State, Nigeria. And this river, according to the villagers, is very powerful. One of the things that shocked me the day I visited this river is the large fishes in this river that are not scared of human beings. When I got to this river, I saw a lot of fishes in this river and these fishes are very big. But one thing that confused me is the fact that these fishes are not scared of human beings. They swim next to your leg, they even take bread from your hand if you bring it closer to the river. I started asking questions. Why are fishes in this river not running away when human beings come close to the river? And I was told that the fishes in this river cannot be killed. It is considered the children of the goddess of this river. I started asking more questions. What will happen to somebody that decided to kill this fish knowingly or unknowingly? The elders in the village told me you should never try, not even unknowingly. I was curious to know if anybody have killed the fish from this river, so I asked questions. Do you know anybody that have killed the fish in this river, knowingly or unknowingly? But this young lady have seen it play out by herself. And this is what she said. She's telling us about incidents that one Ausa man did. He catch the fish from this river and take it home. As she was trying to cut it, the fish is coming back to a hole back. He's trying to cook it. It's not cooked. So they now told him that it is until he returned the fish back into the river. Or else, the river is going to take the whole of his house. So, and it was after he returned the fish back into the river, then nothing happened to the Hausa man. Do you know the Hausa man? No, I don't know. Oh, I see also see okay, you see? You, yes. see? you see when it happened? No, I see how he returned it back. Okay, okay, you see when the person returned, returned the fish? Yes. Okay. No, I think they only boom. One of you, why did you but No, I think they confirm boom, confirm Okay, on the, okay, on boil the, on 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 the, on
What the water you? can be drink raw like this, but you cannot boil it that you want to drink it. But you can cook with this water. But it's just that if you want, if you have the mind of drinking it, you cannot drink the boiled one. You cannot boil it before drinking it. But you can drink it raw like this. And if you want to cook with it, there is no problem. This town celebrate this river every year. They have a festival that they do to celebrate the river. And people from different places around the world come to celebrate this river. I was lucky enough the day when I came there was the day of the festival. Nobody told me about it. I never knew they do festival. But I arrived there and it was festival. Although I arrived a little bit late, but I got to see some action. I saw people drinking straight from this river. I even saw foreigners. When I say foreigners, I saw people from Italy. I saw people from UK. They were here. They believe in this river. They drink water from this river. That was the first time in my life to see white people that actually believe in some of the African mythology or let's say the Yoruba mythology. Some of them even told me that they come here every year whenever it's the time for the festival. Now back to the post. After my research, I've been able to establish that this post is fake and it has been recycled so many times by different people with different names for the river and different locations for the river. And if there is any particular river with this particular story, we are yet to see it or even find out where it is located. Another thing I found out is that most of the people that post this story, they know that the story is fake. They actually just copy it from somewhere else and decide to change the name of the river, change the location of the river and then post it to their page. One of the main reasons why they do that is because it generates a lot of engagement in the comment section. In that situation, the post will always go viral and people will have something to say about the post in the comment section. In that case, more visibility for the page and more engagement for the page. That is just the main reason why people just recycle the story over and over and over again. Do you know why they do that? Because making interesting stories, doing research is expensive and is difficult to do. But that is what I do and that is why you should support me today. I have a link in the description of this video and in the comment section where you can go to buy me a coffee and support my work. Like I said, it is difficult to actually do a thorough research or even travel to the place and film it and it costs a lot. Most of these people will not want to do it. They will just want to relax in their house, copy something remake it and post it. They don't care to know if it is true or false. Please go today and support me at buy me a coffee slash wow nature. The link is the first link you will see in the description of this video and in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Tell me what you think about the post and the river itself. I hope you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.